got your boy Fist in the his house, bringing another great addition. CSGO, Counter Strike Global Offensive on Xbox Live. That's what I do. And this is going to be a full game, three part series. This is the first game of the three part series on Dust 2. I think it's a updated version of the original Dust map. And you will see that uh, I'll answer some questions, do some shout casting, and uh, all of the above for those people that are interested in this first person shooter game. Now, the first thing that I want to cover a lot of, you know, like I think I had. Um, Guns for Hire asked me on Twitter and some other people. They're they're asking me questions like, "How does this game feel? What does it feel like?" So, to be honest with you, 1,200 Microsoft points to spend on an arcade game comparative to the other games out there and the return value that you'll get. This first-person shooter, although it may seem simple compared to other games, I guess you you come to appreciate this game. Even if you're young, you go back and you play games like DayZ, Minecraft, simplicity and having fun. You play this game, then you'll go play Call of Duty, and you'll understand the meaning of my point. When you play a game like this, yes, you know, it does look simple. Yes, it's not drop shotting, spraying, all that stuff. The game mode that I'm playing is class of classic competitive meaning you can kill your teammates with friendly fire uh, you know you really have to if you see an enemy you really have to burst fire it's a very controlled competitive game now I know um, Guns for Hire like I said he was asking me is it how, how is it is it twitchy is it realistic so let me go ahead and explain some things to you Comparative to, like, everybody compares everything to Call of Duty 4. Or, I mean, Call of Duty. But comparative to Call of Duty, you can look at this game and you can understand the inspiration. Like, now that I look at it, now I've never played Counter Strike and, you know, played it to where I wanted to be really good at it and enjoy it and have fun with it and everything. I didn't really understand the lineage of Call of Duty until I looked at the Counter-Strike game. And when you play the Counter-Strike game, you could tell like um, the a lot of the maps from Call of Duty 4 are the same color as Dusk. The weapons and the weapon models are very similar, similar. Like the Desert Eagle is exactly almost the same as Call of Duty 4 so the only difference so if you're a Call of Duty fan from Call of Duty 4 and you want to know the difference like you know why should I, how is this game different for me Fist if I've never played it well for one you know you can see how the people from Infinity Ward improved on this game but I don't really think it's an improvement I think I can see the simplicity of Valve and and what they were saying in this game, you know, shooting, um, you know, pressing the left trigger, squatting down, and and then your crosshairs, you know, they constrict for a better shot. The simplicity of that, we you know, and that ADSing, it's a, it's a lot harder to aim in this game. So I find it, I find it a lot more realistic in the sense that. You, you just can't spray and you hope your bullets hit somebody. You literally, you have to burst fire and you have to think about your crosshairs, how constrictive they are when you shoot your weapon. So when you're playing the game, you know, you appreciate somebody else's aim. And that's, and that's the thing about it. Like a lot of these weapons in here have their own characteristic, characteristics like in Call of Duty, but they're a lot... Uh, you know they have a lot more patience involved in the shooting like I said you have to burst fire so that's the thing about it you know um, people that are asking me how I would compare it to Call of Duty series I think this game is a lot more serious than the and any Call of Duty will ever be in the way I'm looking at you know obviously you 
this is not an improvement on Counter Strike as well. All this is is an HD remix. You know, this is like if somebody took Call of Duty 4 and did nothing to it and just made the graphics better, which they did. You know, I, I like the fact that they got the um, mocktail in there. Uh, I like the fact that they got the flashbangs, the way the flashbangs. Well, you'll see right here, I'm putting shots on a guy and the guy doesn't die. You, you kind of think, okay, lag. There's a lag issue there a little bit. But that's just the way it is. Sometimes it doesn't have dedicated servers, so you're, you're going to lose some battles like that sometimes. But overall, like I said, the simplicity of the game and the competitiveness of it far supersedes any Call of Duty game. When I play when I play classic, uh, classic competitive, which is basically search and destroy in Call of Duty, it's a lot better to me. For one, you know, uh, you know, you're not gonna hear footsteps a mile away. The strategies and the setups are way much more complicated, and the communication is vital in this game. And there's you know, like I said, there's less to work with, so you have to be good at with what you have, and that's the great thing about it. So, anyways, let's get on to some gameplay. Let's just do a little bit of shout casting. So, anyways, picking my mocktail, slash bangs. What else do I have? Um, grab the uh, decoy. I think this is decoy coming in the short side of B. Fist is coming in here. His team is up four to two. He's got the bomb. He's looking to throw the cocktail. Oh, maybe it's not a good, such a good idea locking yourself into a room throwing the cocktail. You should probably should have threw it on the steps. That was a bad move. Now your team's locked in, but he still throws a flashbang. Maybe this can help him go through. So he comes in. He thinks his team is flashed. Okay, let's make a run for you. He checks his backside. Oh, and he gets taken out. Bad move by Fist. Maybe he can learn from his mistakes and try to improve on his planting techniques. <laughs> that was a bad move. So it was a learning process. When you use a mocktail, uh, the cocktail uh, incendiary, whatever way you want to call it, you want to make sure that it's covering paths that you want to cut off. Because it will kill you. I love that thing. <laughs> so I, I learned that little mistake there. I was like, hmm, this makes a bad move. But that's okay. His team is tied up in this match. What is he going to do? They're going to go straight back to B. He doesn't have the bomb. He's got the knife out. And, you, and that's another thing. You, you want to run faster, use the knife. He comes in with his P90. He's going to go short side B. He's going to check the air, check the back entrance there. Always never cover the back. His team is in there battling. And he's got him dead to rice. He comes in. Oh, he's going to take out his guy. It's a three on one. He's going to, oh, he does it. Fist one. It did, that's a, and he takes out another dude. Oh, no, he didn't. It's three on two, two on two. Looks like he's gonna go back on our check. Oh, and he delivers the pain. Oh, so by two on one, he's going to pick up the bomb and plant. Time is ticking away, and his team has got two on one advantage. He sets up shot. He's looking for the. He's waiting. He knows they have to de. He knows they have to defuse the bomb. On plant side B. He's waiting. He tries to get up here, but he can't. So he's going to come out of his cubby hole to make sure that they're covering on both sides. And the bomb's about to go off. Why even be there? Save your weapons for the next round. It's too late. But what's going on? What is his teammate doing? Oh, he has to play cleanup. He thought his teammate had it covered. He doesn't know. This doesn't know, but he still takes the MVP because that's what he does. And his team is up into the 5-4 round. Going into a 6-4 situation. Can Fist do it? Can they turn it around for his team? We shall see. He takes the mocktail. The flash incendiary. What else did he have? The AK with the knife. He's going straight for B again. Because he knows it's short side run for these guys. Coming into the flag. He's, oh, there's a guy right there. He takes him out. Whoa, and his teammate is going to get taken out. Oh, he throws a flash. Oh, uh, wait a second. He's got another. Does he got another? Throw the flash. He threw the smoke. He throws a cocktail, but the guy comes in and rushes them. Oh, it's a bad move. He just didn't throw it soon enough. His reaction times were too slow. 
but his team is still gonna come by and win the game for him. Ali takes control, and they're gonna come through. And this team gonna—it's a one-on-four situation. It looks like they're gonna get tied up. This guy's not gonna be able to do it. He's reaching back around to get the bomb. Is it possible? No, it's not. <laughs> I think we lost this round, but at the end of the day, um, the next three videos, I think we squished them pretty bad. Uh, stay tuned for part two, three, yeah, two and three for the conclusion of these beautiful, long game, the classic competitive gameplay. Until next time, it's a more good